The latest retaliation from China, outside trade measures, may have emerged. According to the Epoch Times, on July 3rd, a Chinese court temporarily halted U.S. company Micron, the world's largest manufacturer of memory chips, from selling its semiconductor products in China. The Fuzhou Intermediate People's Court claimed that the company violated patents held by Taiwanese chip manufacturer United Microelectronics, UMC. Back in December 2017, Micron filed a civil lawsuit in California, accusing UMC and its Chinese partner, Fujian Jinhua Integrated Circuit, of stealing design and manufacturing technologies related to its DRAM chips. In its filing, Micron said UMC, which is scaling up its China business and plans to list on the Shanghai Stock Exchange, had poached key Micron employees with the aim of helping Fujian Jinhua improve its own DRAM technology. This prompted UMC to countersue on January 12th, filing a patent infringement lawsuit against Micron at the Fuzhou Intermediate People's Court. Six months later, right before the U.S.-China trade war started, the Chinese court issued the ban of Micron's sale in China. This is what corporate America has long been worried about. When tariffs are no longer effective, the Chinese communist regime will turn to American firms in China and make their life difficult. What will happen next? Here's Wen Zhao again. China and the U.S. differ in their attitude toward intellectual property rights, which is the manifestation of a conflict between two ideologies and value systems. Given this situation, what do you think will happen with cases such as the one between Micron and Fujian Jinhua? Are individual Western firms taking on the entire system, and are they doomed to fail? Such a thing did happen in China. They stole a patent technology from a foreign firm, preemptively registered it in mainland China, accused the legal technology owner of infringement, and drove it out of the Chinese market. Currently, the punishment of Micron is an obvious intimidation of the U.S. businesses in China, hoping they will pressure their government to discourage Trump. This case precisely proves that China lacks an independent law enforcement system. The government can use law arbitrarily for immediate goals. This is even more harmful than the theft of intellectual property rights, which makes it harder to establish long-term, mutually beneficial trade ties between China and the U.S. This game's process is somewhat tricky. In fact, it takes huge cost risks for China to punish American firms. If they move out of China, China will lose tax income, job opportunities, and access to the world's top technologies. But the problem is that China's entire governance system is opaque. Even if a limited number of American companies become its target of retaliation, you can't tell which ones will be unlucky. Hence, widespread panic. It's impossible for individual businesses to confront the Chinese regime. Only by supporting their government to change rule-implementing settings can they win an improved environment.